Hello all, this video is on programming AT Tiny 85 IC in AVR mode. AT Tiny is uh, Atmel 8 bit microcontroller with only 6 IO pins apart from the power pins. It can work from 1.8 to 5.5 volt. It has got 8 KB flash memory, 512 bytes of RAM, and 512 bytes of E square ROM. By default, it uh, runs on 8 MHz internal oscillator, so no external crystal is uh, required. Fuse bits are set to divide by 8 so by default it works on 1 megahertz we'll be using AVR dual this is also called as uh, USB ASP to program the AT Tiny 85 IC the USB ASP communicates with the AT Tiny IC, uh, IC with the SPA pins uh, this AVR dual is built on 80 mega 8 IC this type of uh, Chinese uh, USB ASP can also be used. This is also effective. Uh, USB ASP driver is required for the uh, communicating. And before starting, let us uh, do the connections, uh, SPA connections. Uh, VCC of uh, AVR dude goes to pin 8 of AT Tiny. Uh, ground pin goes to pin 4 of AT Tiny. And the SPA pins, MOSI, mass route slave in that goes to pin 5 and MISO master in slave out goes to pin 6 of AT Tiny and apart from this there is uh, SCK uh, clock pin that goes to pin 7 and uh, RST reset pin goes to pin 1 no extra separate power source is required the uh, AT Tiny will source the power from AVR dual uh, LED is connected at pin 2 of uh, uh, AT Tiny that is PB3 long lead is connected to PB3 and short lead to ground through a resistor now let us uh, install the USB ASP driver first for AVR dual to work we have to install the uh, driver the link is given in the description below you can download the link and then install the driver once the driver is installed under device manager you can see the USB ASP when uh, AVR dude is connected to your PC under DV device manager it shows as uh, USB ASP next we will install the Win AVR Win AVR is the programming IDE for more than a decade for AVR chips compared to Atmel Studio it is a very lightweight programming ID for AVR chips while installing AVR Win AVR uh, install it as an administrator and install it uh, in the default C drive and do not forget to add path and then install programmers notepad this uh, two are very important while installing the Win AVR once Win AVR is uh, installed uh, it will show up the program as notepad and a make file before starting program as notepad one DLL file has to be replaced in particularly in Windows 8 and Windows 10 the link is given in the description below you can download the msys.dll file copy this file and go to C Win AVR this WinAVR is uh, installed in a uh, separate folder under C and not under programs, uh, program files. Uh, go to C WinAVR and under utils folder go to bin folder and right click and paste. It will ask for the confirmation. Confirm to replace the DLL file. This is uh, required only in Windows 8 and Windows 10. Then only you can program from uh, you can program from program as notepad now open the program as notepad this is the id where you write your uh, c code select uh, a new project new c c++ project compared to other ides like uh, eclipse or code blocks and uh, atmel studio this program as notepad is uh, very simple and lightweight winavr is uh, lightweight programming id for avr and it has got its own GNU compiler collection that is GCC is included in WinAVR and inside this programmer's notepad let us start with uh, include files first we have to include the uh, header file 
two header files are required io.h and delay.h io.h defines the gpu pins and delay.h is used to uh, define the delay and we set the uh, ddrb using a data direction register we set the pin pb3 as output note that uh, one is used to make it as output and zero as input this is reverse as compared to 8051 and other chips and within the never ending loop we make the port b to set pin pb3 as high and after a delay we use underscore delay underscore ms a short delay we use and then we make that bit again uh, low so this will give a blinking effect on the led connected at pb3 once the code is completed we have to save this file always use a separate folder for the project and save this file with the dot c extension click on file save as uh, let us save this file as led blink dot c do not forget this uh, .c extension otherwise uh, the file will not compile next we have to create the make file make file defines or set tasks to be executed in open source projects we use make to compile a final executable binary uh, click on make file and under this first we have to set the uh, cpu set the mcu type as 80 tiny 85 and then set the port as USB you have to just select the USB as port and uh, the programmer has to be set as USB ASP but uh, we cannot edit it initially so first you click enable edit and then select the uh, any one of the uh, programmer and change it to USB ASP and scroll up to change the target uh, as our target is LED blink dot C, change the target as LED blink. Do not use the dot C extension here in the make file. Now save the make file in the same project folder where we have stored the dot C file. So now our project folder has two files. One is the dot C file uh, containing the AVR code and the make file we created now using make two files are existing inside the project folder now let us uh, uh, click on tools and then make all we get an error now uh, check for the error it says uh, problem with the delay ms so we have missed out the underscore so delay should be underscore delay and then underscore ms uh, click on save to save the changes and then uh, click on tools make all you can make clean and then rebuild you can check inside the project folder uh, the make files are uh, created and the hex file is created from within the programmers notepad itself you can uh, uh, program the uh, chip using USB ASP now click on tools and then program to fuse the hex file onto the ATtiny tiny chip now it will it will automatically create the avr dude uh, commands as per the make file uh, settings we are done and you can see the hex file being uploaded onto the ATtiny tiny chip once the hex file is uploaded the led connected at pb3 will blink accordingly Thank you for watching.